Hey everyone, more Canon rumors. A lot of hearsay has been coming out surrounding multiple Canon products, including an EOS R Mark II, EOS RS, and multiple RF lenses. Yup, I am excited. Among the rumors are a 75 plus megapixel sensor, dual memory card slots, new image processor, and a hybrid RF EF mount. Looks like it's gonna be a huge year for Canon. Before I get into it, I wanna thank Canon for supporting this video. And remember, come visit us here at the Digital Gojo showroom in Miami. And don't forget, we publish new content weekly. So subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. To be clear, these are just rumors. This information has not officially been announced by Canon. It's just what has been floating around the interwebs. First up are things we are hearing about a possible EOS R Mark II. The first EOS R was released back in October of 2018 and since then has become one of the best selling full frame mirrorless cameras. So you can see why so many people are excited. Many upgraded specs and features have been rumored such as an improved resolution, small bump, but 32 megapixel sensor up from its current 30.3 megapixel sensor. Uh, it's supposed to also have internal stabilization or IBIS. And this is something a lot of people have been looking forward to. Now they're also rumored to improve the image processor. As we see in the new EOS 1DX Mark II, it has a single digit X processor. Now we're not sure whether or not they're gonna include this in a new EOS R series, or it's gonna feature the digit nine processor, something similar to maybe that's found in the EOS 90D or a digit nine plus, whichever they call it, but we're looking to see a brand new image processor in the new Mark II. In addition, we're gonna see a bump in frames per second. We're looking at something up to maybe 12 frames per second. ISO should be improved with the new image processor, uh, going from ISO 100 all the way to 51,200. And something that a lot of people complained on when Canon officially announced the USR is that it only had one SD card slot. Uh, now we're looking to have two card slots. It's possible that it has one CF Express card and one SD card slot that's compatible with the UHS-2. And there's very strong rumors that there won't be any crop in 4K. So Canon, if you're listening, that would be something we would really like to see. Now the EOS R Mark II is also supposed to have a higher resolution viewfinder up to five megapixels. And we might get a new naming scheme, but I don't see it being something called other than the USR Mark II. And when it comes to the USR's multifunction touch bar, there are very strong rumors that show that it won't feature that on the new USR Mark II, but instead feature the AF point selection feature that's currently found on the US 1DX Mark III. The next rumor that we're hearing is one that's been around for a while now about a monster of a camera sporting a ridiculous 75 plus megapixel sensor. This rumored camera is the EOS RS, which the name hasn't been officially released. So take that with a grain of salt as well. But if true, this behemoth should make waves and go head to head with some of the best cameras out there. Along with the crazy megapixel count rumor is that it will include internal stabilization or IBIS. Uh, it's gonna feature a new image processor, maybe called the Digic X, like the one in the 1DX Mark III. I think it's gonna be something similar, but it's not gonna be exactly the same. Uh, this should help improve image quality, AF speed, and processing, especially if it's gonna be a high megapixel camera like 75 or 80 megapixel. In addition, this all new sensor is gonna be focused on dynamic range. With the 75 megapixel sensor, not only are you going to get extreme resolution, but you're going to be able to recover and, and see all that information in the highlights and shadow areas. Uh, the camera is also going to have a larger body. Um, this is going to help Im improve er ergonomics of the camera, but it's also going to have better weather sealing as well. This is going to be a more rugged, more robust camera body. It should also feature a higher resolution EVF uh, anywhere from 5.7 to 6 million dots. Uh, it will also be larger and brighter, um, probably also with a faster refresh rate. Now the camera is gonna also feature dual memory card slots. That's a very strong rumor. It may have dual CF Express cards or dual SDXC UHS-2 cards. My guess is that they have one CF Express card and one SDXC card. Now talking about the hybrid RF EF lens mount, now this is something that's been going around the net for a while. Um, I would take this with a grain of salt. They have a really great uh, EF to RF uh, R mount adapter. I don't see this being a thing, but hey, anything's possible. 
Now, the camera is also going to have some improved AF capabilities. The EOS R already focuses really well. AF tracking is works really well, and with the new firmware and the camera, I detect AF is extremely well implemented. So this would really top the camera off. Uh, high megapixel, very good at AF uh, tracking, and I detect this is going to change the game, folks. Now it looks like they're going to remove the multifunction touch bar, instead implement the same AF point navigation uh, that they have on the EOS 1DX Mark III. Now some things I would like to see is a dedicated mode dial. This would make it much easier to switch from program shutter priority, aperture priority manual and your user settings. Also, I'd like to see a dedicated switch to go from video mode to photo mode. Um, that would be extremely easier than the way it's implemented now on the current EOS R. Um, also, uh, going to some of the video features, it would be really nice to see uh, full frame 4K video on both the EOS R and the RS. I'd probably see it more on the uh, EOS R Mark II. Um, but something else, if they're using faster, if they're gonna go with the CF Express cards, let's see the internal recording go from 8-bit color to 10-bit color internally. Also 422 uh, color sub 7 villain. The last rumor that we're hearing, and these rumors are some of the latest that we're hearing from sources, are multiple RF lenses, including affordable consumer RF mount zoom lenses, um, some that may have unique designs, both fixed and variable aperture zooms. One non-L prime could be a pancake lens, and a lot of portion of the year, a non-L 50 millimeter f1.8 uh, nifty 50 with the RF mount. But something that I'm gonna really like to see is this new 135 millimeter F1.4 RFL USM. Yeah, it's probably gonna be very expensive, but I cannot wait to see this piece of glass. Again, all these rumors aren't official, and honestly, all these leaks, even as amazing as they sound, kind of take away from the magic of being blown away at the time of the official announcement. A part of me wishes that some of the information is incorrect and that Canon comes out of left field and presents us some really shocking, groundbreaking technology that takes everyone by surprise. But we'll just have to wait and see. Your move, Canon. Anyway, most importantly, what do you think about the rumors and what would you like to see? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, remember hit the thumbs up button below, subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon. And if you're in Miami, come say hello at the Digital Gojo showroom. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.